And then get this, someone caught her with a pro fro. What? Dude, that's crazy. In Aniket's defense, Shag Warm is a kind of an interesting name for a neighborhood, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at this. What is that? Oh, it's a post. It's an audition. Guys, check this out. It says, seeking talented individuals for the Phenomenal Entertainers New International Showcase. No, yeah, we should tell the rest of the group about it. The phenomenal apprentice is like gonna be really good for our group. <laughs> Guys, wait, eight eight thirty. That's like almost now. Guys, we gotta run. Okay, I can sign us up, but we gotta go. Let's All move. Right, let's, let's move. Go, let's go. Let's go.
All right, guys, this is it. Turnout is definitely a, big, a bit bigger than we were expecting, but we, we got this. Hi, you finally showed up. Are you a Stanford Ragapella, the South Asian Ragapella group? Uh, <laughs> no, that's not us. Wait, you guys are auditioning for Penance too? Wait, Sid, what are you doing here? You know, I wanted to audition on the sax, and so I didn't really want to tell you guys about it. Not bad. All right, whatever. Anyway, do you know what, anyone else who's performing? I could have sworn I saw some Mexico people over there. Uh, no, nah, they don't have enough members this quarter to uh, participate. <laughs> and now for our last audition of the evening, the Stanford Mendicants. Hey, guys, let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, two, 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 two. that was our last audition of the evening, the judges have made their decision. And moving on to the international round in Stockholm, Sweden, we have Stanford Rog, I mean the Stanford Mendicants. Yeah! <laughs> Hello boys. We heard you were pretty good. <laughs> Congratulations on making it to the international round. We've got our eye on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that Hoover Tower over there. It's so large. Everything is so much bigger in America. Even the people. Or something? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I don't know who those guys were, but it doesn't matter. We're going to Stockholm. Let's go. Yo, where is Stockholm? Hello, hello. Thank you all for all coming out tonight. It really means a lot to us. Uh, you, know, you could be doing so much more if you're leaving, and it's great that you guys are spending it with us. Um, but tonight, we're here to share what we've been working on this past spring. But not only that, we're here to celebrate the seniors of this group and all their contribution throughout the past years. Um, and so to start off, we'd like to welcome Isaac to the stage. Come on out here, Isaac. Come on. Where are you? Come on, Isaac. Come on, Isaac. He's probably changing. Yeah, he's changing. Oh, where are you? Now, Isaac is certainly one of the quirkier guys in the group. <laughs> yeah, he's the type to show up 20 minutes late to rehearsal, and all he'll do is stare at his phone and document the whole entire rehearsal <laughs> on Snapchat. There was even one time when Marcus texted Isaac why he was running late, and Isaac just disliked the message. <laughs> but there was a time when Isaac was more punctual. Rumor has it that when Isaac was a freshman, he was actually scared of showing up late. In fact, there is even a... <laughs> in is this fact, true? Is, yeah. Is this true? Yeah. Um, in fact, there was even a time when a, he faked a bike accident to give a good reason for why he was late. So as the story goes, he banged his head on a lamppost to lightly bruise his forehead, and to his credit, all the guys believed that he was actually in an accident. Sure, why not? I don't know. Um, as, or in any case, this is a type of ingenuity it, it was why Stanford has been a perfect place for Isaac in the first place, and why we are so lucky to have him in the Mendicants. Isaac, you are an awesome guy, and we are so grateful for the impact you have had on all of us. So let's give him a hand. Yeah. All right, 
the next senior that we are going to be celebrating is Noor. So. <laughs> So, like many Stanford, oh, there you go. We're back. <laughs> uh, like many Stanford students, Noor takes tests very seriously. This includes the Rice Purity test, on which Noor has a 100. <laughs> well, I think he spends his summer as a camp counselor for little boys. <laughs> Pretty wholesome. Anyway, another fun fact about Noor is that he spent the fall and winter quarters abroad, which is pretty uncommon in the mendicants. We actually had a secret men deliberation on whether or not to let him back into the group. <laughs> yeah, we took a bunch of different factors into account. For example, Noor helps to choreograph all of our dances, uh, so some of the more flat-footed mendicants didn't want him around. Uh, he also doesn't drink alcohol, so some of the frattier mendicants had some negative comments. In the end, though, the men deliberation ended in a unanimous vote. Nor is the best of us. He's contributed so much to the group, and we will miss him dearly when he's gone. Wow. 
quiet when I'm coming home. I'm on my own. But I can like to see a like it like that, like it like that. But I can like to see a like it like that, like it like that. See, I don't know what you did when you did what you did. 
As long as I get to see my little dancing queen, Abba, you know, I might have a good time over here. Hey, yeah. Matthew, come on, let's focus. We're here for one thing and one thing only, to show the other a cappella groups what we got. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yes, yes. Dude, I don't know, man. I, I, I was expecting to see more, you know, rolling pastures, trees, mountains, neutrality, and girls named Hilda. <laughs> Bro, that's not... Never mind. Hey, guys, isn't that the theater we're supposed to be performing at? Oh, Swedish. Beautiful. Well, 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 look who made it all the way here from America. We did not think you would make it all this way. Yeah. <laughs> Neither did we. I mean, we we're kind of low on ASSU funds. They cut us off, and then... We told them it's a neighborhood event, and they gave us 70K. <laughs> what? Never mind. We're Stanford University's original. Oh, we know exactly who you are. Yeah. Your music is very relaxing. Mm. <laughs> it really helps with sleepy time after a long night at the discotheque. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my name is Hans. This is Gunther, and that's Klaus. Yeah. Yeah. And all you need to know, Mendy boys, is that you are going to lose, and we will take our rightful place as the global superpower of a cappella. <laughs> Just like up there with Canada. Canada? Uh, Celine Dion, Michael Bubble, Justice Beaver, <laughs> uh, Drake. Us? We are Northern Europe's premier hyperpop disco funk town fantasy soundscape Das Uns Uns. <laughs> and we 
have won tennis for the last 30 years. Wow, can we have your autograph? <laughs> well, I guess let the best group win. Oh, yeah, yeah. You Americans with your optimism and McDonald's, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget this one thing. Das uns uns will win, no matter what you can do. We'll see you tomorrow, Mandy boys. <laughs> Mandy boys. <laughs> guys seem nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sick. My Uber Eats is here. And I didn't even order anything. <laughs> Wait, that seems hella sus. Nah, 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 nah. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you guys. I just gotta go pick up my order. Bro, wait, 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 think about it. Just come with us, you know. We can go, just me and you, to Ikea, eat some of those Swedish meatballs you know, I've been talking about? Do you want to tell? Why, why are you so well, worried? It's, it's the meatball? Yeah, okay. I just go okay. by myself. It's okay. It's not like no, we're going to get go. kidnapped go. or anything, it's okay? It's, jeez. Relax. <sighs> All right. Order for Mac? Yep, that's me. Good. You little blonde bitch boy, Mandy boy, little blonde boy, you. You are going to tell us everything about the Stanford mendicants and how we can beat them in tonight's competition. I'll never tell. <laughs> Not even for some Uber Eats. Mm. What do you oh. have? We have no boo. <laughs> Enough. Enough of this. We'll see if this will make you talk. Hmm, looks like we're going to need something a little stronger. Gunther, next song. Oh no! Shut up! Please don't! No, 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 no. That's right. That's right, and it won't stop until you spill the beans. Look, you play all the other that you want. And I'll never give up on my friends. Please, please, please. Well, I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to this. Gunther, drop the hammer. This little puppy is called the Fleet Street Nator. Oh. And whomever we zap with it will suddenly lose all ability to sing in the right key. We plan to use it on the Mender Boys tomorrow in the competition. Oh, really? How about we use it on you then? No, 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 not my voice. It's my entire personality. Please stop. Then tell us what we need to know, you little bitch. <laughs> No, no, everyone knows that. <laughs> we need something more, something larger. Fine, fine, very well. To be able to beat us, we have to break our brotherly bond. Oh. Oh. We can no longer be as one with each other. So oh. what you're saying is that we have to cause some sort of internal conflict, huh? Mm. And then we can humiliate the Mender boys in front of the entire international collegiate acapella community. <laughs> Perfect. Klaus, let him go. Wait, I thought he was Klaus. Wait. I thought you were Gunther. No, I am Gunther. Oh, oh. You are Hans. Oh. Klaus, I'm... let him go. I'm okay. <laughs> and don't tell anyone about this, yeah? Yeah. Or else. Yeah, little Mendy boy. Yeah, I'll run away. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. 
but uh, it's time to go back to my favorite part, senior roasts. Uh, so everyone welcome Marcus back to the stage. Pussy! Welcome, welcome. Now, Kuzi is the fearless leader of the mendicants, and he has definitely established his authority. So, so, so much so that he makes sure to, like, everybody knows how much taller and lankier he is than you. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Marcus is the only guy who wears t-shirts and shorts all year round, especially in the winter. He has the largest collection of Ohio-themed t-shirts out of anyone I know. I think he's the only person who takes pride in being from Ohio. <laughs> My, my favorite one is the one that says, me and the boys are just bopping. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a shame that the height didn't really come to much use. I mean, I think he's probably the worst tallest basketball player that I've ever met. Uh, on the court, Kuzi over here moves like a newborn giraffe. And, and, and he shoots with the same motion of someone trying to dry their hands without paper towels. Yeah. It's, yeah. Speaking of being tall, he's currently dating the tallest girl he can find so that his kids could live out his failed NBA dreams. How nice. Super nice. Hey, we, we couldn't be more grateful for Kuzi. Last show, he played a Godfather-esque character, Kuzioni, and he really embodies that fatherly vibe. Yeah, just some advice, Kuzi. When you become a dad, make sure you know how to use a charcoal grill, right? Hey, look, at the end of the day, Kuzi might not be the most skilled bass, or the kindest bass, or the funniest bass. <laughs> All right, all jokes aside, though, you have been such a wonder pres or wonderful president for the group, and we will miss you deeply next year. Thank you, Marcus. As such, Dave will only take home about 50% of his salary. <laughs> but lucky for Dave, he got a job in Quant to fuel his gambling addiction. <laughs> so we're not too worried about him. Dave gave himself the nickname Big Dave <laughs> when he joined the group. There's a 100% chance that it's not. Oh my God! But, <laughs> but in all seriousness, Dave is an awesome guy. Right after I joined the group, he offered to take me and some of the other new kids in our section out for sushi. It never ended up happening, though. <laughs> he lost his sushi money on a Hail Mary straddle bet. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Dave has contributed so much to the group, and we've enjoyed every minute we spend with him. We got one more roast. All right, next up we have this year's resident music director and our final roastee, Guinness Chen. Woo! Guinness Chen, everyone. Yeah! So, um, Guinness Chen was born for the position of music director. I mean, he's a natural, he can read music, he's a multi-instrumentalist, a skilled vocalist, and he knows his music theory well. He creates most of the dazzling arrangements we sing today. Exactly. Give it up. I can't clap, but give it up. Okay. Now, one would assume that someone who's good at music should also be good at dancing, right? Nope. Wrong. <laughs> Guinness is the most unnatural, yet enthusiastic <laughs> dancer we've ever seen. Now, we've tried to diagnose his problems with his dancing, and with most people, they're just too stiff, you know? I mean, their shoulders don't move, they, they're like, their joints are a little rusty. Guinness is just too loose. Guinness is, no, 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 no. Chahan, Chahan, please demonstrate. He's like a wet leaf in the wind, as you can see here. Like that, like that. He's like the inflatable man at a car dealership. He's like, all like this. Now, Guinness, dancing is not his strong side, but he tries to break it down to a science. We were doing a step touch, practicing for this, for the, for this show, and this, the move was this. And then Guinness asks Nor, he goes, um, 
see, what are you, what are you doing with your, um, how, do you, how do I make this look good? And then um, after that, Dennis tried for a long time, and soon enough, he didn't get it. So, <laughs> Dennis Chen dancing. Thank you, everyone. We got more, we got more. So I actually stand next to him in our art, so I see that dancing all the time right next to me. All right, but aside from trying to break down swag or dancing to a science, Dennis also enjoys listening to artists like John Mayer, talking about philosophy, exploring the world of AI, and trying to hit high notes he can't hit. <laughs> he also spends his time making schmoopy with his counterpoint lover, and going on trips every weekend in the hopes of enhancing his musical prowess and creativity. Also, if you guys didn't know, Dennis is an eccentric individual. Last year when I first joined the group, his first, his first words to me were, do you think you're gonna die? <laughs> like, uh, well, with lines like that, Dennis is the type of guy you don't, you don't want to bring near your grandmother. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, Guinness Chen is the spirit of positivity, and he always brings light to a room whenever he walks through it. He always has something really stupid yet intelligent to say, and we love him for it. Um, the mendicants will not be the same without him, and a lot of us have him to look up to moving forward. Guinness Chen. So this next song, See You Again, holds a very special place in our hearts because it was the first song that the seniors in our class sang together. Um, we're missing one of our members. Um, he's actually sitting in the front row right now. He may not be in the mendicants anymore, but he's one of us. So I'd like to invite Asher back up to the stage. When I 
Come on, guys. We've been working long and hard for Penis. So let's put on a show. Wait, where's Mac? He's supposed to do the solo tonight. We can't perform without him. Okay, the show must go on. Uh, Amrit, you do the solo. All right, 
it. I, I guess it's uh, my time to shine. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, I am, I am so sorry I'm late. Uh, I got distracted. Stop. It's, it's okay. Come on. We got to get ready. We got to get ready for the show. All right. Oh, hello, Mende boys. We just went on stage and totally blew it away out there, as you say. And now it seems like the audience is ready for your sleepy time American lala tunes. Yeah. And after our chat with that blonde, puny, debilitated, tiny, little bitch boy, Mender boy, <laughs> we pretty much have the trophy in the bag. <laughs> oh, wait, Mac, you talked to them? G guys, I swear it's not what it looks like. Okay, they, they, they kidnapped me, and then... Oh, we did. <laughs> they kidnapped me, and then, and then they had no boot. Okay, that's not important. But, uh, you know, they, they threatened to take my voice, and I, I, I couldn't let that happen. Bro. I'm sorry, guys. WTF. First you go, you take Nobu from our competitors, you skip rehearsal. What's going on, man? I, you're a disappointment to the group. Quick, Gunter, while they are weak, use the fleet streetinator. What just happened? Why do I suddenly feel the urge to pee in the shower? <laughs> and now for our final performance of the evening, hailing all the way from America, the Stanford Mendicants. <laughs> 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 Sing. Wait, really? was doing his step touches wrong. It looks like our friends the mendicants are having some technical difficulties. As a result, we are going to have to cancel their performance as nothing can live up to the electric hype of Das Uns Uns. <laughs> and now we will take a brief intermission for the judges to deliberate. <laughs> and the judges have made their decision. For the 31st year in a row, the winner of tennis, Das Uns Uns. You guys, what? happened out there? Did you even hear the note? What? Das uns uns. I blame you. This is absurd. We, we could have nailed that. I don't understand what happened. I think it's his fault. My it was been in class the whole time. Come on. It's your fault. Guys, guys, stop it. This is exactly what they wanted. I told Das uns uns that our greatest strength was our brotherlyhood bond. And once they realized how to break it, they used the machine on us in the first place. Oh, hey, guys. You guys performed as well? Sid, this is not the time. We just lost because we couldn't yeah, sing. Come on, man. Oh, I, I think I know what can help. I just performed this ancient Persian melody for the show. Legend has it, it can mend a broken brotherly bond. <laughs> Do you think that would be like helpful in any way? Yes, yes, What just happened? Did, 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 did it work? Guys, did it work? I, I don't know. Let, let's find out. It, Barry, sing your part for Trezzy. Papa. Oh my god, they sound terrible. We're back to normal! Yeah! Yes! Yes! yes. Uh, uh. Noah Mac, Noah Mac, you were right all along. Us mendicants, in life we have two choices. We can either choose to work towards mending our brotherly bond, or fall victim to the forces of evil trying to rip us apart, both foreign and domestic. So here in Stockholm, we stand stronger than ever, and we persisted. Not persist, persisted. <laughs> and so, in times like these, I think back to the words of my forefathers, our forefathers. Think not what the mendicants can do for you. 
but think about what you can do for the mendicants. And with that, I would like to invite our alumni back up to stage to sing Delia, our song. All right. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Encore? Oh, wow. It's crazy that we had this lighting crew. Whoa. Submit to your demands I 
love to you like you want me to and i hold you tight baby all through the night i'll make love to you when you want me to and i will not let go to you tell me to ladies and gentlemen our very own mendicant sid wally Oh, 